Hey guys, welcome back to DigiArt Tutorials. My name is James, and today we're going to cover the awesome concept of color systems. Color systems are simply different methods for mixing and creating colors. Certain color systems are used for specific situations, so it's a good idea to know when to use which system. For example, the color system RGB is used for cameras, digital formats, and is actually how our eyes mix color. The system CMYK is used in the printing world, and artists even use a different system when painting. So you can see why it's a good thing to know how color systems work. This video will, will specifically cover how the color system RGB works and when to use it. Since RGB is known as an additive color system, we'll also cover what additive color means. We'll talk about CMYK and subtractive color in another video. So first off, we as human beings have been trying to understand color and organize it into understandable systems for thousands of years. We thought the same about color for about 2,000 years until a fellow named Sir Isaac Newton used a prism to prove that white light, or sunlight, is made up of a rainbow spectrum of other colors. That's really the simple version of that story, but it's important to understand we've been trying to organize color and understand how light works for a very long time. So Newton took that spectrum of colors that came out of the prism and turned it into a circle by joining the dark red and dark blue violet ends together. Now if you look at that circle, this color magenta doesn't actually exist in the spectrum, but he added it as a link to join the sides together. What he formed was what we call today an additive color wheel. So why is this considered additive color? Well, when you take colors of light from this wheel and combine them together, you're adding more and more light together to form new colors. The key word here being add. When you add these colors of light all together, you get white, just like light does in nature. Let's simplify this color wheel into primary colors and secondary colors. The term primary colors simply means these are the colors we're going to use to form all other colors. The key is you can't make a primary, you have to start with one. Actual light uses the primary colors of green, red-orange, and blue-violet. Or if you simplify it, red, green, and blue, which stands for RGB. Now you know that RGB are the primary colors of actual light. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but I've been taught since I was three that the primary colors were red, yellow, and blue. Well, those are the primaries for a completely different color system that involves reflected light. We'll cover more about those primaries when we cover artist color wheels and subtractive color. The term secondary color refers to the color that is formed when you mix two primaries together. The secondary colors for light are cyan, magenta, and yellow. When you add those together, you get white light, again the sum of all the colors. So why is this important? Well, a lot of the time when you're in Photoshop, for example, you have the choice of picking a system that determines how the computer forms colors. When you're working with images that project light, like digital formats, phones, or computer screens, you want to pick RGB because it was designed to form colors the way light does in the real world. When you're printing something, you have to pick a whole different color system because printers and ink don't form colors the way light does. That topic deals with CMYK and subtractive color systems, which we'll cover in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this episode on color, and I'll see you next time.